we are a generation like no other generation before us. And what I mean by that is that, of course, in a number of different ways, but one way in particular is that we are so busy. Looking at our calendars, our schedules are full. We're running from one meeting to the next. We're working like crazy just to be able to take care of our financial obligations. We're trying in every which way that we can to spend time with our family and loved ones. And yet, we find ourselves very often overwhelmed, caught up in the rush of day-to-day life. And because of that, we never take the time to just step back and look at the success that we've had, look at the blessings that we've been given by Hashem, be able to internalize them, which allows us to be a little bit calmer when it comes to all of the challenges that we have on a regular basis. Now that's true on a personal level, but it's also true on a national level. As a people, we squabble, we fight, we argue. But if we step back and look at our generation, we recognize that our generation is unlike any other before us. And I'm mentioning that in particular because this week was Yom Ha'atzmaut. This week is the 60th and 66th anniversary of the birth of the State of Israel. Back earlier times, who knew if the little Jewish nation would even survive? It was impossible for people to be able to actually live in the land and make money to feed their families. It was impossible to work the land until the Chalutzim first came and started for the first time, bringing forth fruit from the land of Israel for the first time in 2,000 years. Step back and look at the generation that we are in. Our parsha this week begins with the mitzvah that Hashem tells us when we come to Eretz Yisrael, the mitzvah of Shemitah. The mitzvah of Shemitah is to simply allow the land to be. It's a mitzvah of emuna. Every seven years, the farmer is to let everything be as is. Not touch anything. Not sow or reap or seed the plants for the following year. His vegetables, work the field, just leave it as is. Anyone can take the food of Shviz, but no one can make money off the food of Shviz. It was a sense of emuna that we need to recognize that it's not our hands that create everything that comes from the ground, from the land of Eretz Yisrael, but it's a Kodesh Baruch Hu, it's God's blessings. And so Hashem says to B'nai Yisrael, when you come to the land of Israel, Asher Anino, saying that I am giving to you. And a question is, why does God use the term Asher Anino, saying in present tense, as opposed to past tense? After all, God promised the land of Israel to our forefathers. He told them that we were going to have it. The deal was made back then. Why does God use the present tense when saying he will bring us to the land of Israel? So a parallel is, of course, Rashi's words in the beginning of our parsha, that the fact that Hashem speaks about the mitzvah of Shemitah and Har Sinai. And just like when it comes to any of our mitzvahs, Hashem wants us to have the attitude, have the approach like a child. After a child receives a toy, the very first day that the child receives a toy, the child is absolutely fascinated and excited by the toy. But a few days later, it's not as exciting. God wants us to look at the mitzvot in an exciting fashion so that every day we're excited by it. And the same is true when it comes to the mitzvah of Eretz Yisrael of understanding the greatness of the mitzvot that apply in the land of Israel and the fact that the Jewish people are living in the land of Israel for the first time in 2,000 years. Rav Nachman of Breslov, when he once visited the land of Israel, he was perplexed by this question, why the present tense as opposed to the past tense? And he understood Because day after day, he said, he learned something new and he became more excited about the beauty of the land, about all that could be accomplished in the land. And it was as if the 10th day that he was there, he was just as excited as the first day that he got there. So allow us as a nation to step back on this Yom Ha'atzma'ut, this time of the year we celebrate Yom Ha'atzma'ut, Yom Yerushalayim, and let us recognize that we are living in a generation, the first generation in 2,000 years, that has experienced Shivat Zion, that has experienced our people coming back to their land, that has experienced a state that has been created, a state which is not perfect, a state that has been the greatest funder of Torah learning in the history of the world, a state that has its struggles, but yet has an army who are the shlichim, the messengers of Hashem, to protect our people. A state that continues to grow its economy and become an example to the nations throughout the world. And a state where the Jewish people could feel safe and secure 
Hashem has blessed us in our generation. Let us step back, take it in, and thank Hashem for allowing us to live now and not to live as Jews a hundred years ago. That the promise for our children is a promise which is more secure than it was a century ago. And that the hope is that this is the precursor to the time when HaKadosh Baruch Hu blesses us further, blesses our generation with the fulfillment of the entire Shiva Tzion, with the rebuilding of the full Yerushalayim Havnuyah, and the bringing back of all Nidchei Yisrael, and the Binyan Beis HaMikdash, may we see it speedily in our days. Yom Atzmaut Sameach, Good Shabbos. Thank you for listening.